Good morning and welcome to Community Conversations. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. You're listening and watching 1230 The Buzz, your talk station on 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 since he's R&B station. Happy Sunday to you. Hope you're having a good day. Of course, you need to catch these positive vibes that we're sending. If you've never listened to Community Conversations before, this is where we come to talk to nonprofits. We're talking about the problems happening right here in our community and how nonprofits profits are fixing the problem and today I'm excited because I have Dr. Chantel Thomas here who's representing the Center for Healing the Hurt. How are you doing beautiful? I am doing well. Thank you so much for having me here Queen. I'm glad to have you here. Look I'm trying to be where you at with this virtual background. <laughs> Love this beach. Love this beach scene. Gotta bring the peace, the peace and the relaxation to everybody. Yes, that's what it's all about. Now, we know you as Dr. Chantel Thomas of A Sound Mind Counseling, right? Always making sure that our minds and our spirits and our mental health is together. But aside from that organization and business, I know you have the Center for Healing the Hurt. Tell us about that business. So the Center for Healing the Hurt was founded a couple of years ago during the pandemic when we had this issue with all of our teens who were um, having the, the whole gun violence and being murdered by each other. Um, and I looked at the statistics and how many, you know, we were leading the, the national numbers with how many teens were killing each other in Cincinnati. And I had been thinking about starting a nonprofit. And so this nonprofit is only for kids and teens who um, have experienced trauma. And so they get free trauma counseling. So we're raising money to um, support our kids and teens in the inner city, African-American boys and girls who have experienced trauma whether it's through gun violence or they have a parent that is incarcerated, so a parent isn't at home and they're having some uh, concerns or issues around that, or they have been abused. So those are the three areas. So people are calling and they're saying, hey, my son is depressed or anxious, but we do an assessment to make sure that they have experienced trauma, not just depression or anger. That's the a sound mind counseling side, but it has to be trauma and trauma due to gun violence. Um, like I said, a parent being incarcerated, or they have been abused in some way. And those kids qualify to receive the free trauma counseling. And it's a set program of 12 sessions, 12 to 20, where they go through a set program to help reduce the trauma because it's shown that if we can deal with that adverse childhood experiences and reduce the impact when they're young, then we don't have to deal with them when they're 25, 30, 45, and this impact is lifelong, right? So we can kind of help them learn how to manage it, deal with it, cope, overcome it. And so when we're 25, 30, and 40, we don't see all these issues in our lives that are coming up because of trauma that happened when we were kids. Now, what is those sessions like um, for 12 weeks? You know, what is the age group? Hold on. What is the age group first? Okay. So we start as young as five and we go all the way up to 18. So five-year-olds to 18. And most of our kids that we're seeing right now are in Cincinnati public schools. Um, and we're working a lot with the trauma center. We work with, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Promise School. And then we are working closely with the um, Cincinnati, Re Cincinnati Recreation Commission to provide, this summer we'll provide some after school trauma counseling for the kids that come there. But not to say, you know, if your child isn't in Cincinnati public, but you live in the Cincinnati area, you can still uh, call us at 513-550-8733. Uh, 513-550-8733. Five one three five five zero eight seven three three, and we can get you connected with someone who can provide trauma counseling for your child free. Again, if they we do an assessment, that child meets the assessment, then they qualify for the free trauma counseling. Now, you know, in the African-American community, we don't really like to talk to people or share our stories. Um, and parents feel uncomfortable leaving their kids to kind of have conversations um, with other adults. Um, what are your advice to them? Because I know when a kid experiences trauma that's serious, and like you said, it can give them better results in the future when you deal with it now. What advice do you have to the parents who may um, be reluctant to have their kids speak to someone? So research shows that people that go to therapy are healthier than people that don't. So for, you know, and, and also you have to remember back in the day, therapy was a rich person's you know, thing, right? So African-Americans didn't have access. And then we had this stigma in our community that if we talked to people, we were crazy. And what research shows, again, people who talk to someone, they're healthier than those that aren't. So again, when we have somebody who's objective, doesn't know us, doesn't have any buy-in in what we're saying and what we're doing, 
then they just give you some options and help you talk through the different concerns in your in your mind. And when a child has experienced trauma, kids don't know how to verbalize like adults do. I'm in pain, I'm hurting, I'm sick. You know, they might be up, have upset stomach, diarrhea, nauseous, can't sleep, can't eat, oversleep, overeat. And you're thinking, you just eating all the food in the house or why are you always whining or why are you sleeping so much? Well, it could be because of the traumatic experience. If my dad was there and then now he's gone to prison for 10 years, there's going to be an impact in my life. If my mom was there and now she's in prison for 10 years, there's going to be some type of impact in my life. And that's traumatic for me to have them torn out of my life like that. Um, whether they did it or not, they're gone. And then the same thing, if I have a friend who's here today and then tomorrow somebody did, drove by and shot and killed them and they're gone, or even if it's somebody who was in my classroom, we might not have been close friends, but every day this person sat right next to me in school and now that chair is empty. There's an impact. And so we have to understand that kids, the way they respond to trauma is very different than the way that adults do. One, because we'll say, let me call the number. But as a parent, you have to say, um, my child may not ask for help or may not even know that they need it. But if you see a change in behavior, some kids become very, very extroverted and others become very introverted. The behavior change, the way they move, their friends, the way they think they're in their room or they're out of their room all the time. Those are some warning signs that something's going on. Some trauma may have happened and they haven't verbalized it to you. So just like you go and get your physical checkup once a year, you have to do the same thing. You and your kids should go and get a mental health checkup once a year because they might tell their therapist something that they won't tell you. And there's been plenty of times where kids have called our office and said, my mom and dad don't know because they don't believe in therapy, but I need help. I'm suicidal, you know. Some even have said, I want to kill somebody else, but I really don't want to do that. But they keep messing with me. So you don't know your kids are needing therapy, but they're calling us. Yeah. And the help is there. I'm, 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 that's, that's the great thing. Like you said, this used to be, we didn't have access to it. We have access to it now. So while we have access, we want to make sure that we are using it. Right. Use right. it before we lose it, right? <laughs> exactly. Definitely have to use it. You know, it's here. And there's so many services out here now that, we shouldn't go without, you know, we don't have to pay. Like back in the day, they were white people were paying $250, $500 for therapy session. Now your insurance will cover it, cover it. And a lot of people don't even know their insurance will cover it. And the insurance company don't say, you know, well, I don't have a way to get my child there. Some of these insurance companies will actually pay to transport your child to and from the therapist. I have a few that come, the car picks them up at home, brings them to therapy and takes them right back. It's a free yeah. You know, so so now you have this access, find out what your insurance covers and get your kids there. Or even if, if not, now you have free therapy through Center for Healing the Hurt. We just need you to get the kids to either over at the Promise Center, um, the Promise School or the CRCs that are out in the community. Or even we're going to have a space in, down at United Way. So there's different places for you to get your kids to the free uh, trauma counseling. The support is here. Make sure you use this Center for Healing the Hurt right here on Community Conversations. I'm speaking with Dr. Chantel Thomas. You're listening to 1230 The Buzz, your talk station 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 since he's R&B station. Dr. Chantel, tell us this, you know, this is a 12-week program as you're taking the kids through, um, you know, the healing. Um, what is it like? What are some of the things that you cover inside of the sessions? So the first thing is we do an assessment just to see like how severe the impact of the trauma has been on their life. So we kind of see where they are, gauge where they are on a scale from one to a hundred. And we ask them questions like, you know, if you, when you think about the event, is it at a hundred? Do you have, you know, heart palpitations? Are you sweating? Do you have a panic attack, anxiety attack? And then we go down from there. So we do what's called a, a you know, just a, a scale to see how they're managing first. Then we teach some different techniques. So whether it's how to rethink about that tech, that trauma, whether it's how to breathe through it, whether it's how to um, utilize if they play sports or an instrument, how that can be one of their healing ways. So we teach them about 10 different ways of how to cope with pain and trauma. And so, you know, so then they have these toolkits, just kind of like I always say, you know, if you're working on a car, you got 10 different tools, but you got to get the right one. So they get this toolkit of techniques to help them heal and then they can pick from those. And for the rest of their lives, the research shows like if you're an athlete and basketball, track, football is a way that you deal with pain, it's always going to be one of your go-tos. If it is riding a bike or playing jacks, or if it is journaling, you know, or if it is yoga, whatever it is you find other ways, if it's just, just sitting there breathing, a lot of people don't know how to properly breathe. So we teach them how to properly breathe and seven deep breaths can take your stress level down 50% just by breathing right. 
So, so they learn these things. And so these coping techniques, these mindfulness techniques, these um, uh, just mental um, de-stressing techniques help kids to change the, you know, the course of how they're thinking or feeling in the classroom and at home. So, you know, parents right now that we're, we're working with the kids at some of the schools and they're like, oh my goodness, I see a change. Sometimes I see them breathing or they'll pause because they say something, they're not blowing up. Teachers say, hey, they're more attentive. So it works. It's yeah. just, you know, you have to get them to us and we're here. And then also you have to, sometimes we ask the parents, you practice the techniques too, because if the kids are stressed, sometimes the parents are stressed as well. So you yeah. can utilize these as well. So it's a two for one. I love it. Now, I know you have an event coming up. I wanted to talk to you about it because, you know, men deal with trauma and they always have to be strong through it. Can't talk about it. They can't cry in front of us. They really deal with their pain a whole nother way. And I know that that's something that we last spoke about. Um, You were going to have a men's health day and it's coming up. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is coming up. It is March the 11th and it is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's located at 2324 May Street, which is right in Walnut Hill. So people, men can get to it. We have space for 100 men. Uh, men, you need to sign up. We have about 60 already on the list. Lunch is included. So it's totally free. You don't have to pay for anything. Bring your sons, bring your grandsons, bring some friends along. So we have about 25 young men between the ages of 10 and 23. And then the rest, all the rest of those men are, are over 25. So we have all these men coming together with their sons and their grandsons to talk about mental health. It's time for the stigma to end. We have to know that we are the only ones that can stop the mental health crisis in our communities. We're the only ones that can help us get over this pain and hurt and this trauma um, that we're experiencing. So all they have to do is RSVP. If you want to lunch, you have to RSVP. If you don't want to lunch, you can just show up at 2324 May Street here in Cincinnati. Um, but if you want a lunch, you have to RSVP at Center for Healing the Hurt at gmail.com. So it's just Center for Healing the Hurt, all one word, at gmail.com. And we will have a lunch waiting for you with your name on. All you have to do is say, hey, I'm RSVPing as, you know, again, Center for Healing the Hurt at gmail.com for the men's event. And we'll have a box lunch there for you at lunchtime. We'll have a fitness session. We have a women's panel that will be talking about, um, you know, how to talk so your woman will listen. So women are going to be talking to men about how to communicate with us. There's going to be vendors from all over the city, men's cigar vendor, clothing vendor, um, we'll have some insurance companies there and there'll be a fitness session so they can learn how to box. There's a guy that um, his name is Maurice. He is doing a um, 15 minute fitness session and he owns his own uh, boxing gym. So we have some things there for the men. So and come on out and talk and network. There'll be people there from all over the city. That's what it's all about. Bringing the kings together to really have some real conversations. Yes, yes. We want them to come out and again, bring the young men too, because they'll be talking about depression, anxiety, fatherhood, this, you know, finance. We have a gentleman, an insurance agent that'll be talking about how to get your finances in order and start saving, even for the young men. Yeah, we need to start saving now, saving early. Men need examples. Don't just come alone. Bring somebody that you think needs to come and experience this. I know you do the women's one every year. Yes. Right, the Women's Health Day every year. So now we just switched it around and now the men have something. The men always say we want something too. Well, you have something now. So we're hoping to see you on March 11th. Again, it's from 10 to 2. Um, Talk to us. You said, I, I noticed the last women's event you had, you had the men's panel and the ladies love that. Mm -hmm. How are you thinking the men are going to perceive the panel for the women giving them the juice? I, you know, I, I think they're going to love it. So we, we were doing the men's. The last time I did a men's mental health day was in 2015. And the men were like, man, that panel was great. We need to have it. I had talked to the men that are speaking now. I said, well, what do you think about the panel? They were like, oh, no, don't you get rid of that panel. That panel is it holds us together. He was like the men love to talk to the women. And that conversation is good. So we're, we're always going to have the women's panel for the men. So you can come out brothers and, you know, and young men and ask the questions. We have, again, a 20 year old, 30 year old, 40 year old, 50 and 60 year old and 70 year old on that panel. So that, you know, all the age groups are represented and you can talk about, you know, marriage, there's married single women and women who have been divorced. So we try to cover it all. <laughs> I love that. And then I know I saw on the um, flyer that there's gonna be some fatherhood topics. 
Yeah. So there'll be a, a gentleman. He's a, a father. He's 30. I want to say Brian is 37 or 38. And he's uh, raised both. Of, he's, he's single. He's been married, divorced, and he had his daughter from a young age. Um, I think she's coming in and talk about that being raised by her dad, a single dad. And then he also, you know, has a younger son. Um, he's going to be talking about just what it is to be a single father, a young single father, because he had her young, had custody and just that whole piece of fatherhood and you know growing up with a child and then being a single dad he's ex-military so he's got a lot of things to share so he has something for the military men the single fathers married and divorced fathers and the kids will be sharing as well so um, I love it yeah we're trying to cover it all for the brothers and the young men <laughs> and the finance part is big because you know money we be spending yes yes we the men they be spending on them gym shoes Yes, they do. Those gym shoes are expensive too. Like, you know, we got to put some of that away, y'all. <laughs> and their colognes. Oh, yeah, yeah. They like that. You know, now, nah, I, I don't know. I like a brother that smells good. Now, you got to, you know, and the J's are nice too. The J's are nice. <laughs> them gym shoes are nice. I like them. But we got to protect ourselves. So I love the fact that you're going to have a man there talking to them about finances, insurance. Because yeah. I noticed when our men die, there are always, you know, we're having these fish fries and we're doing these fundraisers to bury them is because they don't have that correct information on how they can prepare for themselves. So you say there's going to be some people there for that. Dwayne Hunter is a uh, insurance agent. He has his own insurance company and he'll be there speaking. He always comes to the women's that supports our women. Um, he'll talk to them about how to save, how to invest, you know, just having life insurance is so important so that your family can bear you. And it doesn't cost much, you know, five, $10 yeah. a month, depending. It's next to nothing. Yeah. I mean, for the price that you feel, take out, take a woman out on a date, you know, it's probably going to be cheaper than that a month, you know, so you can have something to bury you when you pass away and then while you're living if your kids want to go you want to pay for your kids to go to college a little bit goes a long way if you start when they're young well we see interactive health is sponsoring this event um yeah. food is going to be included and what i love about this event is it's free fellas like she's really just spoiling you and giving you a day to come really just take some self-care take a mental day to make sure your health right your mind is right your finances is right and that you're doing the things that you need to do being on the right path and connecting with other people like-minded men it's really going to help you in 2023. So thank you so much, Dr. Chantel, for even putting this event on. Tell us again where the event is going to be and how we can RSVP. Yes, the event is going to be at 2324 May Street. That is in Cincinnati and Walnut Hills. And you can RSVP at this email, Center for Healing the hurt at gmail.com center for healing the hurt at gmail.com and again thank you so much to interact for health for putting this on for us for sponsoring this event that's why it's totally free to the man we just need you to show up and like i said 60 spots are already gone we only have 40 left so come out yes the curious spot thank you so much again dr Chantel. thank you and you all make sure you go ahead and RSVP. Don't miss it. March 11 from 10 to 2 is going to be on at Main Street. Okay, Main Street. Don't miss it now. I told you about it. You're going to be upset. Y'all be upset every year when the events is over. So you didn't know about it. We're letting you know. This is Community Conversations on 1230 The Buzz, your talk station. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. You're listening to 100.3 Since He's R&B Station and 101.1 The Wiz. Make sure you stick around more Community Conversations right after these messages. 